Hey everybody, welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with Ron Placone. You can hear him, you can't see him. Hello. So the Democrats are trying to regroup, but the problem is, <laughs> so we, uh, you know, you know, there's a fight going on in the Democratic Party. There's the progressive wing against the all-powerful, big money people in the party. And uh, who do you think is going to win? <laughs> so they're trying to regroup and they're doing it all the wrong way. And so there's a great article in The Observer by um, Michael Senato. I don't know how to say his last name. Do you? Mm. I read a lot of his stuff. He's I'm, good. I'm going to go with Senato. Senato? Yeah, or do I'm you say Senato? <laughs> tomato, tomato, Senato, Senato. And it says the elitist Democrats consider abandoning rural America. The Democratic Party would rather widen the discon disconnect with the lower classes than concede power to progressive populists. This is true. And we've said it before. And, I, and, and it's amazing to see how many other people on the left agree with me that uh, the progressive, I mean, that the, the DNC or the establishment Democrats would literally rather lose to a Republican than let a progressive take over their party. That is that is a fact. And it, I know that, but it's amazing to see how many people agree. And the first person that really made this case to me was Kashama Sawan, who's from Seattle. Uh, she's the city council person who got $15 minimum wage passed there. And she came on the Aggressive Progressive show I do for the Young Turks. And she said that, you know, the first order of business for the Democrats was uh, not to defeat Trump, was to defeat the agenda of the working man. And I'm like, ah, come on. And then she's like, then they did that by defeating Trump. Bernie Sanders. And I'm, you know, the more I thought about it, the more I realized she's 100% correct. That was their first order of business. Their first order of business was to elevate Trump while torpedoing Bernie Sanders, the progressive candidate working for the people. That is exactly their first order of business was to defeat the agenda of workers. Because why? Their donors want them to. Their donors didn't go, hey, Bernie Sanders is great. He could be Trump. Let's prop him up. They were like, get that guy out of here. He wants to take away my gravy train. Because you can't be in bed with Wall Street and stick up for workers. Those two, those two agendas are diametrically opposed. Wall Street and workers. So let's get back to this article by Michael Sonato. You know, first I thought, man, what what could have happened if this article would have came out in like September or October? And then I thought, oh, the Clinton campaign would have ignored it. That that's, yeah, that's what would have happened. What happened. <laughs> he says, despite losing congressional elections across the country in 2016, the Democratic Party reelected Representative Ben Ray Lujan. Is that how you pronounce you think? Lujan? Uh, yeah, maybe Lewin. I'm not sure. Lewin? Let's yeah, say Lewin. I like yeah. Lewin. All right. So the Democratic Party re-elected Representative Ben Ray Lewin, who ran unopposed. You know, that's an important part of that paragraph because I put it in red. Who ran unopposed to chair the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, the DCCC. Why is that important that he ran unopposed? Because it shows you that nobody even inside the... De By the way, the Democrats in the Congress wiped out. Wiped out. They're wiped out. They're wiped out at every level of government. And so you think you'd want to get some new leadership because the current leaders just lost the Super Bowl to a high school team. So you'd think you'd want to get some new leadership. Not only did they not get new leadership, nobody even ran against the guy. Yeah, they rehired the coaching staff. Nope, they, they, didn't even, they didn't even have someone try to run against them. No one even ran against them. Wow. Wow. So this, this article could be entitled, How the Democrats are Planning to Lose in 2018 and 2020. <laughs> Because they are planning. In 2008, Democrats held 257 seats in the House of Representatives, compared to 178 for Republicans. In 2017, Republicans now hold 240 seats to the Democrats' 193. Wow. So that's a swing of 62 seats for the Republicans. They swing 62 seats since 2008. 62 seats in the House they swing since 2008. Yeah. Wow. 
with a very popular Democratic president. So look at that. That's a big swing. 62 seats, 64. In October 2016, Lewin told Politico, in October 2016, Lewin told Politico that Donald Trump was serving as a positive factor for Democrats in congressional races and suggested the party could recoup a majority in the House by coasting in Trump's unpopularity and perceived rift within the Republican Party. Wow, so this guy is as good at reading the tea leaves as the captain of Titanic was in spotting icebergs. (laughs) Not good. This is not this guy's skill set. He's not good at elections. Let's put him in charge of our elections. <laughs> Why? Because he says what we like people to say. He takes the money from the donors and he doesn't cross them. I'm going to guess. I've never even heard of this guy before. Have you ever heard of this guy, Representative Lewin? No. He's the chairman of the DCCC, which I know a lot of people hate the DCCC. The autopsy for the DCCC is being conducted by Representative Sean Patrick Maloney, a former senior advisor to Bill Clinton for whom both Clintons have campaigned. Wow. Maloney, a true Clinton partisan, is doubling down on the same strategies that failed Hillary Clinton and the Democrats in 2016. Boy, I'll say. Mm. Leaks D triple C memos revealed the Democratic Party was referring to Hillary Clinton as the Democratic presidential nominee before the primaries even frickin' began. So why is that significant? Because the uh, and the D triple C strategized to run candidates in line with the Clinton campaign. That's why. So they didn't strategize to run with progressives. They didn't strategize to run with Bernie Sanders and the and the feeling of revolution in the country and the feeling of wanting to squash the establishment in the country with a sledgehammer, which is what the fucking electorate did. The DCCC strategized to run candidates in line with the Clinton campaign, which included giving up on rural areas that Barack Obama won in 2008 and 2012. Great strategy. Hey, for all the blue-collar workers we're going to lose, we're going to pick up two or three Republicans in the suburbs. That's what they thought. That's what Chuck Schumer said verbatim. Yeah, and he said, and he said, you can repeat that all over the Midwest, Ohio, Illinois, Wisconsin. We're going to do that. So we, so if you even just think about what he was saying, is that we're changing the Democratic Party hundred percent. We're not even going to go after Democrats anymore. We're going literally after Republicans to win an election. Why are you guys a Democrat? And they're doing it again. Do you want to say oh, something? No, big t- I, I was just going to point out, you know, we're, we're talking about individual states here. Where I'm from, my home state, Pennsylvania, uh, went red for the first time in a presidential since 1988. It's the first time. Uh, and when she was campaigning there, she, she, she stayed in Pittsburgh. She stayed in Philadelphia. Middle of the state, she was completely absent, and she lost it. And it's because there's a lot of blue-collar workers, a lot of people that want solutions uh, for working-class issues. Uh, Donald Trump made these bogus, bogus, beyond bogus promises of, of reopening the coal mines, bringing steel back, which was just an insane promise, but people bought the snake He's, oil. He gave them something. Yeah. And just like just like our friend Nick Smith, who was on the show, said, we know that he's a loudmouth Yankee. He should have got his ass kicked a long time ago. But he was at least he was offering something. Yeah, it was a lie, but it was something. To make matters worse, Democrats' perceived solution to this disconnect with rural, working, and middle-class areas is to offer moderate or conservative candidates. So their idea is, all right, well, we'll just go offer Republican light candidates to those people. Instead of a bold agenda to change people's lives for the better, a bold agenda, you know, 
like health care for everybody so Americans don't have to shit their pants 24-7 worrying about their health care? You know, maybe free college so they don't have to worry shitting their pants about how am I going to send my kid to college? Maybe a new deal for the for people. Maybe we do something bold. Maybe we mention FDR. Mention him. The court, the Democrats are so corporatized, they're so right wing, they don't even ever mention FDR, the most popular president in the history of our country, who was a Democrat and had a plan and fixed our country. But Jimmy, I, I don't know. I think the Democrats might have been on a on a good idea with that one. I mean, don't you know all the moderate and more conservative leaning voters that that you knew in your life that said, "Man, I wasn't sold on Hillary Clinton, but I love that Tim Kaine guy." <laughs> Do you think? I don't no. think anyone's ever said that in the history of ever. Yeah, I, I didn't like Hillary, but I really now that she got Tim Kaine, I'm on board. Yeah, that guy was that guy was great. Got his ass whooped in a debate by Mike Pence. Mike Pence. That guy. <laughs> He lost what a, a person. He lost a what well, well, debates are a personality contest, and he lost a personality contest to Mike Pence. Yeah, a guy that's too conservative for Indiana. For too con- yeah, as Helen Hong says, even his hair is racist. <laughs> <laughs> the Washington Post was one of several mainstream media outlets that propagated the narrative during the Democratic primaries that Bernie Sanders only did well in rural areas citing several rural states where Sanders won by huge margins against Clinton in order to whitewash his campaign. So there's your Washington Post. Again, shitty mainstream news, except when they say nice things about our show. (laughs) Then they are fantastic. (laughs) However, now, the DCCC and the Post have come to the consensus that a lack of moderate to conservative Democratic candidates in these areas is the problem oh boy wow so the 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 washington post meaning jeff bezos owned republican staffed (laughs) our liberal newspaper (laughs) uh now the consensus between them and the dccc is is that we need more moderate and conservative democrats in reality the democratic party runs candidates who aren't a real choice And therefore, voters opt for the actual Republican rather than the Republican light offered by Democrats. When given the choice between a Republican and a Republican, they choose a Republican every night. Bernie Sanders and populism aren't mentioned at all by the DCCC chair Ben Ray Lugin or Lewin or Representative Maloney as possible solutions to the problems they are facing with engaging voters across the country. Bernie Sanders and populism aren't even mentioned by these geniuses who have been getting wiped out for the last eight years. Aren't even mentioned as a way to to help win back voters. Not even mentioned, just like Obama never mentioned FDR. Just like the Democrats never mentioned the New Deal or FDR. Why? Because they're busy fucking repealing it. The Democrats... Look at this. Democrat elites would rather would rather give up parts of the United States than concede political power to progressive populists. Not only that, they would rather give up the whole goddamn government than concede any of their party's uh, apparatchiks, apparatus, not apparatchik, apparatus to progressives. They'd rather lose to Republicans than win with progressives. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, a a lot of folks in the Democratic Party, whether they lose or not, they're still getting those donors. Yes. The Democratic Party is focused on serving corporate and wealthy donors rather than representing working and middle class and low income Americans. Some of those communities used to be Democratic Party strongholds, but voters never saw results. There you go. The Democratic Party is focused on serving corporate and wealthy donors rather than representing working middle class and low income America. I mean, that's it right there. That's it. That's it. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. That's it right there. And the people who are in power in the Democratic Party, meaning the donors, because they're the ones who choose the new DNC chair. That's why it's funny that we're really holding, hoping up that Keith Ellison becomes the new chair 
when the people picking him are the people that are the problem. So there that that's what Ron anything else? I mean I don't know what else to add except the Democrat you know again people are going to be uh, Chris Hayes is going to stay angry at Susan Sarandon and Josh Fox uh there people are going to stay angry at the Green Party people are going to stay angry at me uh but that doesn't that doesn't make you want to kick and scream and go march somewhere or occupy someone's office or but that, ah, fuck, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, the people with power, uh, they're making the same mistakes that handed us Trump. Whatever, isn't there a, a 70-year-old actress? That's the problem, isn't there? Nancy Pelosi told us we were fine, so. Oh, Nancy Pelosi, okay. yeah. I'm sorry, isn't there a filmmaker who makes movies about polluting water? That's the problem. That's the problem. Activists who are fighting the establishment, they're the problem in America. That's what they tell you at MSNBC and the New York Times and the Washington Post and everywhere else. Not here. So there you go. Uh, It would be nice to see if the Democrats could stay angry at the people who fucked them over, which are the Democrats. Hey, the next live Jimmy Dore show is March 4th. That's a Saturday. Get your tickets right below. The next one after that is March 20th. The shows sell out really fast, so get your tickets right now. Link's right there.